again. Put price and pride together again. Well, hello, pride. Hello, pride. It looks like we are gonna lead the team at A and P. The whole team now. If we can do it with it, nobody can. No fun. The price and pride making friends. On June 7, 1976, the Boston Celtics returned home from Phoenix, Arizona after having won their 13th NBA championship in the last 20 years. This year's champs were a little different and a little more unique than past Celtic champions. They lacked the overall awesome talent of the Kuzi Russell dynasty teams, but they made up for their shortcomings with hustle, drive, determination, and that magical intangible known as Celtic pride. The Selleck success story starts at the top with general manager Red Auerbach. It has been the guiding genius of Red, both as coach and general manager, that has made the Selleck's the model of success in the sporting world. First came the Bill Russell-led championship teams that featured the likes of Tom Heinz and Bob Cousy, Sam and Casey Jones, Tom Sanders and Bill Sharman. Teams that dominated the basketball world from 1956 to 1969, winning 11 NBA titles, in that 13-year span. 120 to 103, 12 seconds left. Heinsohn bringing the ball up. Comes all the way through, gives to Guerrilla, who drives no good. The rebound by Guerrilla, no good. The rebound for four going in the corner. Sam Jones gets it. Back underneath to Guerrilla, back out to Heinsohn. Lays it up and in. 122 to 103. And the buzzer goes off, it's all over. The Boston Celtics are once again the world champion. West with the ball out on the right. He takes the jumper. It's no good. The rebound by Baylor is up and good. One second left. And Cousy's got the ball. He throws it straight up in the air. It's all over. And there they go. They have won it again. The Celtics are leading by one point. 110 to 109. There are five seconds left. Greer is going to throw the ball in. Johnny? Oh, uh, Greer's putting the ball on a play. He gets it out deep and Havlicek steals it. Over the stand, Jones. After a brief rebuilding program, the Celts reached a pinnacle of success again in 1974. A pair of veterans from past championship teams, Don Nelson and John Havlicek, were still wearing the green. But this was basically a whole new team, built around Dave Cowens, Jojo White, Paul Silas, and Don Chaney. Eight seconds left. We will be talking to you from the dressing room when this is over. Fritz Williams lays it in. All right, now Garrett steals the ball. One second. <laughs> And he misses, and that's it. It's history. The Boston Celtics have won the world championship in 1974. The final score here at Milwaukee. Boston 102, Milwaukee 87. But of all the great teams and great stars, no team gave Red Auerbach as much satisfaction as this gutsy 76 quintet. As this new season began, the major question centered around Charlie Scott. Everyone knew he could score, but could he fill the defensive void left by Don Chaney? And most of all, could he fit into the Selleck style of play? He played the entire season under the analytical eyes of critics and fans that performed admirably. But with a flair for the dramatic, Charlie saved his best game for last, scoring 25 points, hauling down 11 rebounds, and getting five steals and three assists as he led the Celtics to an 87-80 victory over Phoenix for the championship. The rebound banged out, grabbed by Scott. Scott top of the circle, big drive, lays it in. Basket counts, and he got fouled by Van Arsdale. Now quickly on the left over to Stover. Stover's tricky dribbles into the 
the circle behind his back. Scott takes the ball away from him. Herb looking on the cut to Sobers. Sobers lays it up. No good. The rebound Cowens over to Scott on the cut to Silas. He's coming halfway. Back out to, to White. Up top now to Cowens. On the left to Scott. Underneath to Silas. Lays it in. Another great play by Charlie Scott. The 75-76 season started slowly for the Celtics as they won only nine of their first 17 games. In November, Cowens was forced out of the lineup with a back injury. After spending three days in traction, he returned against the Knicks on November 21st and put on an inspired performance as only Big Red can. He scored 17, grabbed 21 rebounds, and leading the Celtics to a 110-101 to win. All right. Silas and Havel check at the forwards. Cowens the center. Scott White at the guards. Low to Cowens. Beats his man. Lays it in. 62-52, Boston leading by 10. On the left of the key to Scott. Now to Hamilcheck, driving, guarded by Bradley. Back on the left, quickly he goes over to Scott. Underneath the Collins, he lays it in. 66-52, Boston leading 14. All right, Scott, top of the circle, wheels in. In traffic, holds the ball, out deep now to White. Now to Silas, driving, left-hand hook is no good. The rebound by Collins to Silas to Scott, and lays it in. 54 Boston leading 14. Our right, White comes up to the top of the circle, around to the right. Got the daylight, now he's in traffic. Back out to Cowens it goes. Up top to Havlicek, on the right to McDonald, underneath now to Cowens. Cowens fakes, jump hook, it's gone. So on the left now, Nelson. Guarded by Ginelli, fakes, holds the ball. Back out to Havlicek, the jump shot is no good. Rebound, Cowens. Rips it away from Haywood and a reverse first jumper by Cowens is good. And he got fouled on the play. Down low to Haywood, guarded by Silas. Haywood fake, goes baseline, misses. The rebound grabbed by Cowens. On the left over to White. All right, Jojo coming around to the right, gives back out to Cowens straight away. Bang! Back in action, the Celtics won 12 of their next 13 games and rocketed into first place with a 21-9 record. Following a long West Coast road trip, the Celts returned home on January 9th to face the Washington Bullets. Charlie Scott broke open the close game by pumping in eight points in the final six minutes. All right, back out to Scott. Scott's got a little daylight. Gonna take it. Push! Big coming to the right. Big looking around on the right sideline. Big coming to the circle. Boston leading four. Big fires. He hit. And the foul is on Jojo. I tell you, I mean, this has been unbelievable the last few minutes particularly. Big goes two for one. At the line. 105-104. He makes it. Charlie Scott with the ball. On the right now to Silas. At the foul line, back to White. White coming around to the right, draws Hayes. White sets and hits! 107 to 104, Boston leading by three. All right, Bing down the sideline. Bing backing up. Bing at the foul line, fires. Hit! Oh, my. 107, 106 to score, Boston leading by one. Now to White, fake drives in the lane, a little scoop, no good. Rebound Silas, back to White. Out to Havlicek. John rolls the ball to Charlie Scott. He goes down the lane. A right-hand scoop is no good. Silas the rebound, no good. Hard the rebound, no good. Scott the rebound, brings it out. To White, fake drives, throws it up and in. 109, 106 to score. Boston leading by three. Haskins comes to the right. Haskins looks around. Gets up high now to Unseld on the left now to Bink. Bink starts, Bink goes up, Bink misses, the shot, rebound by Silas. Out of Scott. Scott wants a weave, and he calls for it. Scott looking. Scott's got it out in the middle. Now it goes to Ard on the right in the corner of the Hamlet check. Back to Scott. Scott's on the sideline. Ard goes in. Scott drives. A little pop. He's got it! Fifty-three seconds left. It goes to Bing. He's in the lane, and Havlicek steals the ball. 
On the left now to JoJo White. The stop and pop is no good. The rebound. Out to Scott. Scott wheels around. 40 seconds left. He's going to eat the clock up. He just danced it all around the court. Back out to JoJo. Crowd a standing ovation. JoJo wheels around. JoJo comes back underneath the hammer track. Fake. Out to Scott. Scott's going to shoot it. It's no good. 20 seconds left. Down court to Bing. He's underneath and lays it in. All right, 116 to 112. Hard with the ball. Out goes to White. White fake it, moves around. It goes down to nine seconds. White's pulled around with the ball. And he got fouled. Haskins committed the foul, and he's out of the ball game. So JoJo White makes the next one good. And again, he's got it. 118 to 112, Boston leading with eight seconds left. Bing comes up the court. To the right, to the circle. Hard foul. Gabe Bing in the line. One on one for Bing. The first one is missed. Boston leading by six with three seconds left. All right, Bing ready. And he's got it. One free throw, Washington, 118 to 113. All right. And that's the ball game. That's the pass. Dennis Cotney just tweaked. So the final score here in the Garden is Boston 118. The final score and Washington 113. On February 27th against the Seattle Supersonics, the Celtics found themselves trailing 91 to 86 going into the fourth quarter. It looked like another loss in the mediocre month of February for the Celtics until JoJo got red hot and pumped in 14 fourth quarter points. Havlicek with the ball. Back it goes to JoJo. It gets away from Watson here. 95 to 94 the score. Boston trailing by one. On the left now quickly JoJo. Bang! He got it right back. 106, 102. JoJo White looking out deep over to Scott. Scott holds the ball. Back on the left now. Goes quickly to Havlicek in the corner to White. A drive White. The shot is gone. 108-104. White coming around on the right. This has been a superb ball game. Out top it goes quickly over to Scott. In the left now to Havlicek. Around the screen. Back out to Charlie. On the right to White. The shot. Quick. 112 to up 10. Boston leading by two. On the left now. Brown the bomb. It's good. Basket by Brown. An incredible exhibition of basketball out here on the right, Charlie Scott. Uh, it's all tied up again, 112-112. Back up top, now to White. White fakes, drives, he's in, he lays it in. 114-112. Can you believe this on the right now, What? In the circle, moving it around to the left, looking. Holds the ball on the left, now to Brown. There's the villain right there. What a ball player. Leonard Gray, a fake fall. It doesn't work. Brown misses. The rebound by Gallagher. To Scott. On the right to JoJo. Two minutes to play in the period. He takes the set shot. It's good. 116 to 112. Boston leading by four. JoJo White with 32 points. And a tremendous exhibition in the last five minutes. Two days later, against the defending champion Warriors, the Celtics roared out of the starting gate with 41 first quarter points and an eventual 119-101 victory. White takes it away from Johnson. Down court. Havlicek gets completely away from Barry and lays it in. 8-5 to five the score. Both clubs fired up here. Now Scott. Down court, Havlicek. A shovel pass to Scott. On the sideline of Havlicek, John looking. Up high now to Collins. Collins holds the ball. On the cut to Scott underneath, he lays it in. 14 to 7 a score. Boston leading by 7. Scott is on fire. On the left now, quickly it goes over to Wilkes, back to Smith. Smith, off the screen. Now the mismatch underneath to Ray, and Scott nails it to Collins. Down court to Barry, to Havlicek beating Barry, and John lays it in. Havlicek again beats Barry, he released on him, and he was too fast for him, came down court. 
On the pass in. Up top now goes to Wilkes. Wilkes wants. Wilkes fakes. Wilkes going to the lane and fires up from there. It's no good. The rebound, Styler. On the right now to Stakem. Stakem shifts gears, goes to the left. Keeps going. Left hander. Up over Barry. 22-12 to score. Boston leading by 10. Bringing the ball up now quickly. Stakem. Stakem moving around to the right. Back out to Collins. Up top now to Havlicek. Fakes the weave. Ray grabbing him all the way. Comes in on a runner. It's good. 24-16 to score. Boston leading by eight. All right, now bringing the ball up, Scott. Up top now to Nelson straight away. Bang! 28-18 to score. Boston leading by 10. 3.05 left to go here in the quarter. Scott bringing the ball up. Smith is on him. Scott comes to the right. Down low to Cowan. Cowan's in the lane. Double team. Takes the hook. It's good. 32-19. Boston leading by 13. How deep now to Barry. Barry looking. He's got... Stake him on a switch. Barry overstake him. The shot is no good. Rebound. Grab by Stylus to Scott. Scott looking on the cut to stake him. Lays it up and good. All right. Now bringing the ball up, stake him. On the right now to Scott. Scott looks. Holds the ball. Back on the right to Havlicek. On the knees now. Stake him over his man. Bang! He went right up over Williams. 36-21 to score. Boston is leading by 15. Stake him. On the right now to Havlicek. John being guarded by Dickey. Moves to the right. Collins is taking Johnson down low. Up top, Nelson. The shot. Swish! And he got flat by Davis. Boy, he got really hit by Davis. The basket counts and Nelson's gone two for one of the line. Uh, Don Nelson at the line. 38-23, Boston leading by 15. We're still in the first quarter. The shot by Nelson is good. 39-23. Nelson lead by 16. On uh, Williams stumbles and White steals the ball. He's out front. Drives and lays it in. A week later, against the Pistons, the Celtics pulled out an 88-87 victory with Don Nelson scoring the key go-ahead basket. Silas holds the ball. Coming through now, White, Cowan, Nelson out deep. Up top it goes to Scott on the left now to White. White fakes, drives, shot block, Nelson gets it, lays it. 86-84, Boston leading by two. In the corner, Eberhard. He goes toward the lane. He gives to Lanier. And it's taken away by White Silas. All right, White goes to the right. Very big play by Jojo. Reached in there and just batted it away from Lanier. All right, Scott with the ball. Up high, it goes into Cowan. Back door, White. And he lays it up and in. As he caught Buddy looking. Buddy was looking for the ball, and White went back door on it. 88-84. On March 19th, in an overtime struggle with Kansas City, the Celtics' potent backcourt duo of White and Scott combined for 10 points in the overtime to pace the Celtics to a 120-117 to win. Collins with the ball. On the left to White off the screen. The shot is around the rim and in. It hit the rim, bounced high in the air, dropped through. 108-106 the score. Boston trailing by two. Archibald comes left. Archibald comes top. Archibald looking. Walker cuts. Archibald holds. Archibald looking around on the left now to Lacey. Lacey corner Wedman. Wedman comes out. Switched by Cowens on the left sideline of Johnson. Underneath to Walker. Went without the ball. Lays it in. 108-108 the score. Up on the right now Jojo. Top of the circle. Back out now to Scott. Scott comes around to the right. Along the sideline of Havlicek. John John looks. We got a tie. Back up here now to Cowens. Underneath Charlie Scott all alone. Misses. But then tips the ball back up and in. He was so surprised at how wide open he was. He, co- he was completely off balance on the shot. Missed it and then tipped it in. 110 to 108. Mismatch low Lacey. It comes into him. He's got white on him. I don't know why he doesn't turn on the shot. And now he gives it back out to Archibald who misses the rebound by Silas. To White underneath to Cowens. Fake. 
fakes it again, lays it up and got fouled. Foul is on. Maybe on Archibald. It is on Archibald. Big Red has got two. He missed two a, a few moments ago, but he doesn't miss this one. 111 to 108, Boston leading three. And he dips and shoots. He makes them both. 112 to 108. Boston leading four. On the sideline now, quickly goes over to Wedman, guarded by Havlicek, down low to Lacey, guarded by Cowan. Lacey looking on the left side, wants to go, drives into the lane. The shot is good. 112 to 110, Boston leading by two. Bringing the ball up now, JoJo White. White top of the circle, back out deep it goes to Scott. Scott looks, holds the ball, now to Havlicek on the right sideline. Johnson him on him tight. Cowan's pops out. All right, they're looking. Collins drives around to the left. Baseline jump hook is good. One fourteen to one ten. Archibald left. Archibald the bomb. It is no good. Rebound Collins. Out to Scott. Scott fakes. Scott to the middle. Scott down the lane. The scoop shot is no good, and he got fouled on a play. And Charlie is really upset. He shivered and clenched his feet in the fist. He tried to give that ball body English, but it didn't go in for him. But he's going to the line and shoot two. The shot, Scott, is good. 115 to 110. Boston leading by five. The shot, Scott, he's got. 116 to 110. Boston leading six. Archer ball. Moving around to the right. Now goes back to the left. Goes back to the right. Have a check. Steals the ball. Now quickly over to Scott. Behind his back to White, he lays it in. Charlie's got a great spectacular behind the back pass. Oh, my. Charlie's got a spectacular behind the back pass to JoJo White. He laid it in. 118 to 110. And Boston has burst into an eight-point lead in the overtime. On March 28th against the Knicks, the Celtics wrapped up their fifth straight Atlantic Division title as John Havlicek and Paul Silas led the way to a 194 victory. Hayward with the ball, or rather Monroe with the ball, misses the shot, Silas the rebound. How quickly it goes to Havlicek. Havlicek bringing the ball up to the right. Now Havlicek underneath, got back door, took a pass from Cowan, and lays it in. 90-84 to 84 the score, Boston leading by six. Now Cowan's driving. A quick little pop is no good. Silas the rebound. It's up and good. 92-86. Boston leading by six. Pass knocked down. A ten of a Haywood. He goes out and gets it. Way downtown. Shoots a long bomb. It's no good. The rebound by White. Taps over to Stakem. Back to White on the right sideline. Joe looks. The stop and pop. He's not got it. Stakem the rebound. Gets rammed. Misses. Rebound Cowan. Missed. Rebound by Silas. It's back up and he got fouled. Silas again. He makes this one. 93-89. Boston leading by four. Haywood is trying to get it to somebody. He gets it to uh, Janelli, who misses the shot to Silas the rebound over to White. White getting past Monroe. Explodes into the lane. On the left now goes to Silas. He lays it up. Blocked. Silas again. No good. Cowan the rebound is good. 96-89 the score. Boston leading by seven. Monroe underneath now to Jackson. A shot blocked by Havlicek. Picked off by Stakem. Down towards the Havlicek. Heading for the hoop. Lays it up and no good, but he got fouled. Foul is on Janelli. Charge on getting two. And there are only 53 seconds left in the game. The shot by Havlicek is good. And the shot is around the rim. Hank there goes in. 98-94. All right, Jackson with the ball on the sideline. Back to Monroe. Monroe guarded by Stakem. Monroe wiggling. Monroe looking. Out now to Ginelli up top. Out of Monroe, and Stakem takes it away. Silas gets the ball up on a loose ball and gets fouled. A great play by Kevin Stakem. Haywood committed the foul. That's a backcourt foul, and they're over the limit, and it'll be three for two for Silas at the line. Tall ball ready. Dip shoots, gets it. 99-94. The 
the shot. Is around or imminent? 194, the Celts lead by six. Beard looking. On a cut to Ginelli for the pop. It's no good. The rebound, silent. That should do it. Havlicek goes behind the double team, takes the pass. Opposite side to Stakem. In the middle of White. White looking. Two seconds on a shooting clock. And White shoots. And makes it. It won't count because there's still one second left. And a 24-second clock negated White's shot. Oh, New York puts the ball on a play to Chinelli, and that's the ball game. All right, the final score here, Boston 100, New York 94. Now it was playoff time again, that special time of year when Sullick's pride rises to the forefront. By virtue of having the best regular season record in the East, the Celtics automatically received a quarterfinal playoff berth against the winner of the three-game elimination series between Buffalo and Philly. The Braves scalped the 76ers two games to one and on Wednesday, April 21st, took on the Celtics at Boston Garden. It was to be a classic matchup of talented centers. And after game one, the score was Cowens one, McAdoo nothing. The battling redhead poured in 30 points, added 17 rebounds, 7 assists, and 5 steals, while holding the McAdoo scoring machine to 16 points. Now on a give and go, quickly, Stylus gets the ball from Collins, gives it back to Collins, a step back pop is good. And Boston leads. 2 to nothing as they open up. With a hoop right away. Kaberski on the left sideline, holding the ball. McAdoo gives it to him on the outside. Uh, quickly behind the screen, White, the shot is good. It goes from Cowens to JoJo off a Kaberski screen. On the cut to JoJo. Back up top now to Cowens. The pop is good. 25-23. Boston trailing by two. A minute and 27 seconds left to play in the first quarter. The shot is no good. The rebound Cowens. He brings it out of the lane. Holds the ball on the cut to Stakem. Back out to Cowens, the step back. Pop, he's got it. 31-29, Boston trailing by two. And, oh, White comes around through the lane. McMillan bumps him. Havlicek underneath the Scott. Lays it off to Silas. Lays it up. No good. The rebound is good by Cowens. 82-69, Boston leading by 13. Cowens going between two men. Throws up a He made that one up. He made that one up. He never took that shot before in his life. A two-handed reverse turn scoop shot. I want to see him do it again. <laughs> An offensive foul now on Bob McAdoo. Cowan's had him fronted. He tried to push off. It's five on McAdoo. John, you've seen that so many times. That is a foul of frustration. McAdoo is having a horrible night out here tonight. And it's definitely a foul of frustration. On the right now, quickly, is Steve Gregorio. In the lane. Backward bounce pass. Stolen by Cowens. Cowens gets mauled by Randy Smith. And it's in the backcourt. And look at him throw a tantrum. He went out to try to get the ball back. And he smacked into Cowens. And he's throwing a bit of a tantrum. Now he's calmed down. Cowens will go to the line. And get two shots. A backcourt foul. It's not a loose ball foul. Oh, it's 102-92, Boston leading by 10 as Cowens made both free throws. Cowens now has 30 points. Shot fake, goes down into the lane, lays the ball up and in. 107-98, Boston leading by 9. 11 seconds left. Smith, a bomb from the left. He missed that one. He gets his own rebound, lays it up and misses. Rebound goes out to Charles with two seconds. He throws it up, misses, and that's the end of the ballgame. Oh, the final score here at the Garden is Boston 107, Buffalo 98. Havlicek injured his foot in the opening game and missed the next three games of the series. In game two, Kaberski and Nelson shared the load at Ford and combined for 34 points to lead the Celtics to a 101-96 victory. The rebound, bang down, and Stakem keeps it alive, Hard gets it. On the cut to Kaberski, lays it up and in. A tremendous play 
by Kaberke. He saved the first rebound, got it to Hard, and Hard gave it back to him. What a play by Kaberke. Di Gregorio on him tight. Back out to Scott, now to stake him on the right. Out deep it goes quickly over to Kaberski. Adams on him tight. Steve wants to drive. He's got the drive. He goes in, lays it in, and he gets fouled. A great play by Kaberski. What a drive by Scott. All right, Kaberski with the ball. Holding it on the right. Guarded by McMillan. Cowan's going in. Kaberski a drive. In the lane. The shot is good. Shot it over McMillan. 85-80. It goes on the right now to Silas. Silas out to Kaberski. He fakes, goes left, shoots. Back. 89-84. Steve Kaberski has emerged. Boy, I'll tell you. All right, it goes to Stake and back out to Nelson. Nelson holding the ball, being chased. Still got it. Still got it. Drops it off to Stakem and there's a foul on the play on Ken Chow. And he does not agree with the call. He's got five now. All right, Dynamite done. Dip shoots and gets it. 98-94. Only 18 seconds left to go in this ball game. He dips. He shoots. It's no good. Silas the rebound. Back out now to Nelson and a foul on Charles. And Nelson will go back to the line and Charles is out of the ball game. All right, Nelly makes it. He's got 20 points. He goes again. And he dips, he shoots, he's got it. 194, Boston leading by six. 12 seconds left. Neither team has a timeout left. Hard trying to make it a tough pass. It goes Smith, foul line, fires up, misses. That's going to be the ball game. And that is the ball game. Boston Garden is Boston 101 and Buffalo 96. Back home in Buffalo, the Braves, led by an inspired Ernie DiGregorio, rallied to tie the series at two games apiece. In game five, the Selleck forward wall of Cowens and Silas combined for 38 rebounds as the Selleck's rolled to a 99-88 win. Cowens totaled 30 points for the game, while Silas netted 13 of his 15 points in the second half. In the decisive sixth game at Buffalo, the Celtics trailed 78-77 at the end of three quarters. But midway through the final period, Charlie Scott got the hot hand and hit for nine straight points as Boston wrapped it up with a 104-100 victory. Now to Scott. Scott's on a fly. Deep. A runner. He's got it. Basket counts. He got fouled by Randy Smith, I think. Yes. Scott just drives on Smith and lays it in. Randy has five on him, and Charlie's going to take advantage of that. Now he goes to Cowan. Cowan has to out-wrestle Shoemate. Gets it back out to Scott. Scott's driving, lays the ball up. Around the rim and in. 5.26 left to go in the ball game. Boston leading 95-88. Uh, JoJo with the ball. JoJo bringing it up to the right. Boston leading 95-88. It goes out to Scott. Scott gets bumped by Charles. On the right, now can be over to Silas. McIndoe on Silas. Out deep, now to Cowens. On the right, over to Scott. Scott, top of the circle. Switch! Charlie doing it all today. 97-88 to score. Boston leading 9. 449 left in the ball game. All right, now Charles with the ball. One second left. Lays it up. It's no good, and that's the ball game. And the ball game is over. The Celts have eliminated Buffalo four games to two. The final score here at Buffalo, Boston 104, Buffalo 100. In their hard-fought quarterfinal series, the Cleveland Cavaliers ousted the Washington Bullets and earned their way into the Eastern Conference Final against Boston. Prior to the opening game, Cleveland's talented young center Jim Jones was injured and threw for the year. An aging giant named Nate Thurman filled in for him and did a remarkable job. But in the first game, the Celtics blew the game wide open with a 19-4 spurt early in the fourth quarter as Silas hit 11 points in the final 12 minutes.
In game two, Boston trailed 73-70 early in the fourth quarter. But another late game selling explosion did the Cavaliers in. Back out now to Scott. Scott in the pop. It's good. 73-72. Scott has turned the fire. Boy, he really has. He's gotten hot. White looking. In the left corner, Hamlet check. The shot. Sweet. And Boston leaps. Oh, my. 74-73. Cleveland wants timeout. On the right to Havlicek. Cowens is low on Lambert. Down into Cowens it goes. The handoff. No, oh, back to Havlicek. They stand. No switch. They stood to the cut. There was no switch. And the Cubs are up six. And timeout has been called with the score. Boston 79. And Cleveland 73. And Scott coming around to the right. Heinz and Sam. Please. Calm it down. <laughs> Underneath, Cowens gets away from Lambert and lays it in. A high alley-oop pass went to Cowens. He laid it in, 81-73. All right, White coming around to the right. Walker's all over him. Now down low it goes into Cowens. Back to White. The shot is good. Oh, it's 85-81. Boston leading by four. All right, back out deep. It goes to Hamlicek. On the right now to Nelson in the corner to Kaberski. The shot. Sweep. 81 to score. Boston leading by eight. Snyder with the ball. Five seconds left. Clemens coming up court. And from downtown, he lets it fly and hits it. And it will count. So the ball game's over. And the final score here at the Boston Garden is Boston 94 and Cleveland 89. Back in Richfield, Ohio for games three and four, the Cavs battle back to tie the series at two games apiece. In the important fifth game, Dave Cowens hit two free throws late in the fourth quarter to give the Celtics an 87-86 lead. Then injured John Havlicek came off the bench in the final five minutes to put the game away for Boston. John holding the ball. White goes through. John looks. John still got it. Can't be Russell attacking him. It goes out to Cowens. Cowens over his man. 89-86. Boston leading by three. Charge. Jojo looking. Goes to John with it. Down low to Cowens. Cowens turns and fires and hits. 93-88. Boston leading by five. It goes to Havlicek on the right. All right, John looking. Standing there. Holding the ball. Gets it down into Cowens. Cowens is in the lane. Reverse turn and misses. The rebound is up. The rebound is up. Forces a shot, but hit it. And Boston takes its last time out with 14 seconds left. The Celts do not have to shoot the ball. They have a one-point lead with 14 seconds left. And here it is. It comes to Havlicek. Clemens attacking Havlicek. And the foul is on Clemens. And he goes up and it jumps up and down. Putting on a big act. Crowd getting on him. They don't like him here anyhow. And uh, he put on a big tantrum and it didn't do any good. Oh, the shot by John is good. 96-94. And the shot is good. 97-94 and Cleveland uses their timeout. Oh, Brewer trying to get it by Collins. Having trouble. Still having trouble. And Silas steals it. Shot is good. 98-94 the score. Boston leading by four. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. And there's the shot by Clemens. The ball game is over. White has made both free throws. The final score here at the Boston Garden is Boston 99 at 
Cleveland 94. Just as they did against Buffalo, the Celtics made the Cleveland series a single game. Collins, White, and Scott, 487 win. On the left, holding the ball. Back out, he back out to White and Scott. But he made them both. Oh, it's 94 87. And that is it. The ball game is over. The series is over. A very hectic series has come to an end as the South turned the tables here in Cleveland, erupted at the end, and won it the way they lost it the other night, with an explosion at the end. The final score here at Cleveland is Boston 94, Cleveland 87. The last obstacle on the path of a 13th Celtic championship was the upstart Cinderella Sons of Phoenix. Led by former Celtic Paul Westfall and a pair of talented rookies named Alvin Adams and Ricky Sobers, the Suns startled the basketball establishment by beating the Golden State Warriors for the Western Conference crown. But in game one of the finals, a combination of a smothering Celtic defense and the powerful play of Dave Cowens buried the young Suns. Cowens went the full 48 minutes against rookie Adams and turned in a 25-point, 21-rebound, 10-assist, award-winning performance. Oh, they got Perry on Cowens. Now oh, it goes down to Cowens. He's double-teamed. Turns and fires and hits. He went right up over Perry and Hurd and hit. 36-30 to score. Boston leading by six. In the right corner, Adams. On the cut now. Quickly low to Perry. The shot is no good. The rebound, Cowens. Cowens has really begun to take over those boards. The Celtics literally stole the second game from the Sun. Leading 46-41 with the third period just underway. First, Charlie Scott, then JoJo stole the ball. And the Celtics ran off 20 points to two for Phoenix, and the game was in the bag. The Amazing Suns had made a regular practice of miracle finishes all season long. Just when they appeared to be out of it, they came roaring back. Back in the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix won two pressure games and tied the series at two games apiece. If games three and four didn't prove to the skeptics that the Suns belonged in the championship final, then game five certainly did. It was merely the greatest game ever played. The Celtics opened big early leads only to have the nitty-gritty Suns fight back. It was the kind of game that almost defies description. Let's just pick up the action as it happened near the end of regulation time. All right, now Art is on the passer. The pass comes in and it's loose and White nails it. Cowan made the play. Cowan made the play. The Celts are claiming that he was a foul after White grabbed the ball. Everybody is claiming something. And we're going in overtime. In the first overtime period, the action got even more exciting. Oh, and now Hurd getting ready to put it in play. He's taking his time and loses it. Gets it back. And it goes now to Sobers. Nine seconds. And he's driving. And it's White steals the ball. White steals the ball. Shooter is putting it in play. Goes to Havlicek. In the corner. Fake. Fires. No good. Then in the second thrilling overtime period, everybody except the referees and the timekeeper thought John Havlicek had won it for the Celtics. Pass goes to Havlicek. He's coming around to the left. The shot is good. Phoenix took too many timeouts, and 
a technical foul has been called. They took two. They didn't have any left. And they'll get the ball out of bounds on the end line. The shot is good by JoJo White. Here it is. Perry's going to put it in play. It goes now to Hurd. The shot is good. And it goes into another overtime. In the third and final overtime period, two physically and emotionally exhausted teams battled to the finish. If ever there was a time to have Sullick pride on your side, this was it. Pride and the pressure shooting of Glenn McDonald did it for the Celtics. Uh, Hamilcheck looking on the left now to Nelson off the screen. It's gone. 114 to 112. Boston lead. On the right now, Van Arsdale goes to Perry in the lane out of Sobers. The shot is good. All right, bringing the ball up now, JoJo. Comes around to the left. It's tied again. 114, 114. Back out now to Hamilcheck. Now in a corner it goes to White driving. Outside to Ard. Ard fake. Back out to Havlicek. In and out. The rebound fought for. Loose ball foul. On Silas, I think, and that's it. He's gone. Ard right, Sobers to the right. 318 left in the overtime. It goes to Van Arsdale. Now to Perry. Perry's shot is good. The Boston trails now by two. Havlicek bringing the ball up. Top of the circle. On the cut to JoJo. Lays it in. Another JoJo White spectacular. 116 to 116. Less than three minutes to play in the overtime. Sobers on the left to Hurd. He wants to go. He clears. And he hits. All right, now it goes bad. Down court to Nelson. Boston trailing by two. Nelly holds it. Back out to Havlicek. Top of the circle. Starts and doesn't. Pass is blocked. Hurd has it. Oh, it's Sobers. Around to the left. And Sobers looks around. The Hurd. Out to Perry. Perry now to Sobers. And Hurd steals it. Not a JoJo. JoJo coming around to the left. The shot is good. That ties it up again. Two minutes left to go in the overtime. West ball over the line to the left. On the left, Van Arsdale. 118, 118 to score. Out high now to Perry. Starts to go in and loses the ball. As a scramble. Jimmy Hart ties him up for a jump ball. All right, the jump Perry and Arsdale. The tip is controlled by Boston. Goes from White to Nelson to Havlicek. Back to JoJo. Drives. Lays it off down to McDonald. And McDonald puts him ahead. 120 to 118. 135 left in the overtime. Sobers over the line to the left. On the left now to Hurd. Hurd going left. Hurd fires up and misses. Rebound. Hard and Nelson. Out to McDonald. McDonald. Around to the right, gives out to White. Back out to Havlicek. Underneath to McDonald, the fall away is good. Glenn McDonald! Glenn McDonald! And timeout is called! All right, it goes to Westfall. Coming around to the right. Wheels in, takes the fall away, and hit. Try to draw the foul, it didn't work. Jojo. Coming around to the left. Boston leading by two. 122 to 120. Less than a minute to play now. Havlicek back to Jojo. Bang! 124 to 120. Boston leads by four. Sober. On the right to Van Arsdale. Back out to Westfall. Out of Van Arsdale coming through to the left. The shot is no good. Rebound McDonald. Knocked out of bounds, and a foul being called in the backcourt on Curtis Perry. Jojo White has played himself into the ground. He has played himself.
himself into the ground. He's sitting on the floor. Yeah. He's not hurt. He's exhausted. He has played himself right into the ground. Glenn McDonald has just hit the free throw. And the shot. He's got a move. machine was rolling in high gear now and nobody was going to stop it. In the deciding sixth game, Charlie Scott snapped out of his slump and hit 25 points to pace the Celtics to their 13th set of championship rings. Charlie's backcourt mate Jojo played another brilliant game and was justifiably named the series MVP. Scott coming to the left, back out deep over to White. White coming around to the right. White looking, holds the ball. Out on the left now to Scott, underneath to Collins. He got in behind Adams, a great play. Adams fronted him, and then Collins just rolled in on him and hit. Boston leading 73-69. Jojo White gives the ball to Scott. Scott brings the ball up. On the left now, quickly he goes over to Silas. Back out to Havlicek. The shot is good. Charge on. Hard at 75-71. On the right of the key. Charlie looks. Charlie goes to the right guard by Sobers. Holds the ball. Still got it. Still got it. Now loops the pass into Cowens. Wheels away from Adams and lays it in. Another tremendous play by Dave. Now White, a running right-hander. He went right by Westfall. A spectacular play by Jojo again. 79-71 to score. Now goes to Hamletrack. John looking back out to Scott. Scott the bomb. Quick! 83 73, Boston leading by 10. All right, now Scott steals the ball after it was whipped out to Sobers. It's going to be seven seconds. Scott's in the corner and gets fouled by Sobers. Oh, the shot by Scott is good. Scott's got 24 points. The shot, Charlie, is good. Make it 25. He's had one heck of a ball game. Boston has won the World Series. And now Sobers can't handle the ball completely. The ball game's over. And the series is over. And the Celtics have won the World Championship. 87-80. That's the final score. Oh, my goodness. The final score here at Phoenix is Boston 87 and Phoenix 80. There are many key ingredients which go into building a sports dynasty. The Celtics, without a doubt, the greatest dynasty team of all time to achieve that pinnacle of success, required a solid organization from top to bottom, a talented, dedicated bunch of athletes, and one other vital, intangible element. We call it 
Celtics pride. We can do it with nobody can. 